to the people today that the second day will be say we did for this uh, program or this uh, FAO submit so for UN food uh, submit plus two. So today, my people, as we were talking before, we could not see followers as we they followed up for what we see they happen for this uh, place today. As we talking today, we did for Rome, for Italy, this one on the FAO compound here, now all the presidency for the whole world for the discourse, the matter, we say, concerned food and agriculture. So the Vice President, the His Excellency Shetima, in there with us today as well, in the to go back for the same program. As the one continuing this matter, my people, as I tell you so, with the call from and with the report from Oberland TV, I bet we say, we could not touch that diet. We could not follow us as the matter, they go well. So that now if you understand, as the relationship, we may say the presidency and the issue of the food and agriculture as they happen for Nigeria because they say food mainly for Nigeria and they tried now to come in contract with the Italian authority. In fact, yesterday we met with the Prime Minister of Italy, we be say we'll see you later. The Prime Minister still because understand say they're ready now to also uh, join Nigeria for this matter we say concern agriculture and food. So now we say we can be given this notice as the matter they go. So we they hear live and direct for FAO compound. Now they see so. So my people, next time we go update to them, I say we can follow us from Oberland TV. <laughs>
So beyond the positive, the side events they were also aim to highlight areas for further support and investment. And to recognize that technical assistance in international investment from all sources, donors, private sector, diaspora, etc. To ensure that we have an even stronger story of progress to tell in two years' time. So um, Nigerians are very hospitable people. I do apologize uh, for the delayed start. Uh, but now that we are taking over the Iran room for about an, uh, an hour, 45 minutes, it is only appropriate that we welcome you to Nigeria. So I will invite His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Kashim, the team at PCON, to welcome everyone in the room on behalf of the government of Nigeria. Your Excellency. abound in Nigeria in spite of the crisis we are in. We have a new president, Ola Ahmed Tinubu, a man of courage and conviction who is determined to reposition the Nigerian nation. But the reality of our food and nutrition insecurity situation and the agency to transform food systems to rapidly meet multiple needs, food, nutrition, sustainability, livelihood for our ever-growing population is of paramount importance. 220 million people, one out of every four black men is in Nigeria, and the population of Nigeria is projected to hit 440 million by 2050. Nigeria will surpass the United States as the third most populous nation on earth. And the population is young. The median age is 19. We have the capacity, as I said yesterday, of transforming the demographic bulge into demographic evidence. Or it will be the demographic disaster that will continue all of us. But we determine leadership and support from the global community, we believe, as eternal optimists always do, that there is hope in the horizon. The building blocks already in place that gives us renewed hope that this transformation can happen include government's recent declaration of a state of emergency on food security, moving food and water affordability within the purview of the National Security Council. The fact that we have much more data about our food systems and nutrition than we have ever had before from the Nutrition Data Conference of 2022, the National Food Consumption and Micronutrient Index of it, and the National State Level Food System Dashboard, etc. And thirdly, the increasing collaboration between government and business, focusing on agribusiness, understanding that investments that will transform food systems will come from the private sector, with government creating only the enabling environment. The investments that will create the enabling environment are there for everyone to see. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the success story of the biochain development program speaks for itself. It has empowered 100,000 small stakeholder farmers to enter commercial engagement with some of the leading food marketing firms in the world, enabling them to lift themselves and their families out of the poverty trap. Therefore, the government of Nigeria together with international and domestic finance institutions, scale up the BCDP approach through the Special Agro-Processing Zone program, with an invest impressive investment of $521 million from IFAC, from the Islamic Development Bank, and from the Africa Development Bank. 
the BCDP SAPZ really represents a unique and concrete model of mobilizing transformative investment escape in support of our national pathways for food systems transformation. To transition to higher performing, healthier, more sustainable, and more equitable food systems. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria is open for business. We have a president who has a private sector background. You have a vice president who is also from the private sector. And we have a president, most importantly, who has a knack for selecting the best to drive the process. Be rest assured that the next frontier of global development is facing Africa and Nigeria will make or mark that transition. Come to the land of opportunities. Come to the land of a very proud and energetic people. As I said, and I want to reiterate, the average age of the Nigerian nation is 19. Vibrant young people eager to put in their best. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thanking the organizers of this conference, FAO, EPAD, the World Bank, the organized private sector. It's my singular honor and privilege to cherry forever to declare this Nigeria side event open. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. We are indeed uh, living in interesting times, times of renewed hope. 